Michigan State, they fluctuate between a 6-2 and a 5-1, and we'll see who wears down who. Absolutely, Spartan starting, they go quickly to Preston, and that's a quick first point for Michigan State. ...with it, trying to work the sideline, and as we've seen Preston a few times, go cross court. Bolton comes in and gets the ace quickly. She gets the ace. Maris thought that one was going out, that back line. Very masterful mind, very volleyball minded, and that's exactly what you want to see. Preston's gonna start things off for the Spartans on a 5-0 run. Now Maris goes near side and meeting a flurry of defenders at that front line and blocking. Yeah, it was, and I think that's something that is Duzuma that she has to slide over. And Miller is so lethal that um, shutting her down early and often will be important. Dasik goes to the back line, first touch from Preston. Anderson has it now. Maris sending it over, blocked once again at the front line. Ball going back and forth. Duzma gets the block. Spartans now headed on offense. They go to Anderson. Anderson going deep. Now up top to the near side. Blocked once again by Anderson. Far side now for Bistro. Blocked once again. This front line of Michigan State doing work early. And they convert a flurry of blocks. And they finally get the point to go their way. Able to continue to play. Yeah, and Maris came into this game hitting 0-27 for, uh, or rather, 0-0-27 zero, zero, for the young season. Today, they're at negative 3-6. The setter for UTSA, the Roadrunners, McKenna Weepert, mentioned that they're a pretty scrappy team, so in order to beat them, you have to stay organized on your side of the net. When you have a service ace like this and a continual pressure. To a 9-0 scoring run. Now Maris going once again. Spartans able to recover. Nice play from Meisinger once again. Reads it, reacts, and finds a way to negotiate that one over again. Now here's Maris. Anderson meeting her up front. And Anderson once again. If they can't eclipse that mark, get into the double digits, which would be a, a prominent performance from the front line. You go near side once again. Nice tip play coming through. Really wonderfully done that time. Um, sub out Yosia and give her a little bit of a break. Absolutely, and it's so important to have those versatile pieces. This Michigan State team so deep. Preston goes one more time. Dasha's able to recover that one. And that time, Maris once again converts. Prove a little bit here. You're right, Jack, and who else but Taylor Miller, right? We talk about setting. Preston. Now Maris going far side, blocked at the front of the net. Michigan State, it came. We are starting to see more and more international talent, and it's great to see. Well, conventional wisdom, Jack, says that soccer is the world's game. I'm starting, though, to believe that volleyball is headed that way. Yeah, it's absolutely starting to go that way. Bristow handled that serve beautifully and put it right on cue to the center. Bishop over to the far side. This time Preston has it, and Preston converts. Preston once again. This time Maris receives. They go to the near side, blocked up top, and there you go, Brian. Somebody who followed Coach Johnson from Illinois State, and you can understand why not only she was able to transition, why she is enjoyed to be had on this Michigan State squad. Another block comes through. Michigan State continuing to do work on this front time, on this front line. I think having been in practice a few times with this Michigan State team, Coach Johnson has become more and more ingrained vocally the last couple weeks as of recent. Yeah, we're done nicely, and that is the offense that Marist, Marist wants to see. And it's down a row, and this one was close. Spartans now seeing her twice in live game as somebody who is dependable. You know what you're going to get. Absolutely, and when you have those dependable players, what a dig there from Yosia to keep it alive. My goodness. Far side now 
Nice job by Bishop to keep that one alive. Anderson finishes the job. How about that point? It is when you have somebody like Yosia to couple with Julia Bishop. Miller sending it over. Yosia first touch. Now Bishop going to the back line, pressing with the tip. And the dig tried to come through, but the flag gets put down. And Michigan State leads by two now. Absolutely, and you have to string together a few couple points. You cannot let Michigan State go back and forth with you. Now they go to the far side, blocked up front, and unable to get that one up. Spartans finish the job. Volleyball had that same thing, but that yeah, time right. I actually caught the ball one-handed. <laughs> it was a great clip. High pump fly. Kelly able to bounce back Michigan State. No, I know, with the pace of this game, with the way that it's flowing, with the pace of, of what some of these hitters have in their artillery, it's scary down here. It absolutely is. You got volleyballs coming at you everywhere. And that time, it wasn't coming in hot, but it was a beautiful decision by Duzma, just tipping it beautifully over. Right, and, and how deep of a roster Leah Johnson has to her disposal, and that's exactly what you want if you're a head coach. You want to have so much talent on your team. Here she is once again, and that one had some anger towards it. So many different lineups that she can go with. Anderson this time finds the spot that she wanted. This time she was able to find it. And Yosia is so poised. And when just clearing the net, Anderson, right back to that big time logo, kept alive this time though. Tip pass coming through, kept alive by Yosia. And this set point, or excuse me, this point continues to go forward and Michigan State finally converts. They mentioned time and time again how the Spartans want to go towards that area. And Anderson kept that one in, went going to the near side that time increase that hitting percentage and do what they can, especially after last year, they're trying to continue to year after. That Michigan State has hosted at home, she's now hitting 571 on the day. Red Fox is running into trouble at the front of the net. Stanishesco was right there and she was waiting for that one. Try and pull a ball out from underneath the net line. That's what we saw right there. Patton to serve. And that one just sails out. So Michigan State comes away victorious. 25-14. And that is a sweep.